Good day traders. This is Rich with some price action on the markets. It's May 19th, 2020. It's 434. And we just finished the day. Uh, great mentoring session, I should say, followed by the guys I'm following, which was phenomenal. Uh, a little bit slow, but we found some great setups. I found some great setups, uh, worked as a team and discussed a lot of things, little, the little things. There's a lot of little things that were covered today and we're doing it the rest of the week, which is awesome. And I can't say how much it's ramped up everything. Um, doing this on your own, I would say is not impossible, of course, but it just makes it so much easier to see the light and to see what is you should be looking for and really dig in and it's just been amazing so today was a great day um, obviously it can always be better i'm still struggling with getting out too early uh, but i found some good setup so that was a good start so i started off with this dvax trade uh, i can't really tell here but if we go to a two minute i took the opening price uh, break here on this two minute and i luck fortunately for me i got out right when it went up and it was, it was like a small gain it went to seven to seven fifteen so i got 15 cents on it and then it just fell off the rest of the day um so the bit the stocks i always look at you know always look at roku beyond tesla um zoom i missed a bunch on zoom today but beyond was a good trader um early on in the morning you can see here's the break here and i took a break here i got out um, a little early, of course. I could have had the 3650, 13650, which I believe was right here. I'm not exactly sure where it was. Um, oh, I took 13650 pullback here. Um, but I did take about three trades on Beyond, which were all green winners, and it worked out really well. Um, so those were some solid trades on beyond it's a good trader it hits the points where you need them and um you know you, you have to give a little wiggle room sometimes but sometimes it jumps your price as well so it's a fast fast trader um, but when it does move it moved a point in my favor within like two minutes um which was really nice and uh, that's what you look for that's what i'm looking for at least um, the other trade today i'm looking over here was this nndm which is really interesting uh, got up to a 415% gain at one point. Um, obviously, if you took the 150 break, you're sitting pretty when it got to four. Um, but in this case, I took this pullback here on this candle. Um, and I put a limit in. It went against me maybe two cents and bounced up really quick. I took like 500 shares on it. Um, this is a type of trade where I could have taken like depending on your account size, let's say 10,000 shares. And it made, I think I, I added it up at the height of this particular movie, it would have been like a $15,000 gain. Um, obviously it could have gone this way. So it wasn't necessarily a no risk trade, but you could see I used this line, this 20 EMA, and it just climbed right back up. Um, you can make a lot of money with those trades. I mean, you got to put, you got to, I wasn't risking a lot. If it broke through here by a far stretch, I would have just bounced um, sort of like what it did here. Okay. Um, but the first time it hits is where I like to do it. Um, you can actually take the first time it hits this line as well. So, a couple options there, but this was a fast moving trader. But look how much volume 311 million shares. That's a lot of volume. So, it's questionable what's going on there. Um, should a stock move 400% in one day? <laughs> I guess. Um, so let's move on. Um, anything else did I trade? I think I did take a Tesla trade. We'll go to that in a second. Let's see, there's one more. Um, it was VTIQ, which was like one we did in the room together, which was nice. Was the break of this 24. 450 I believe yeah the 2450 here on this candle not much pain we we're all watching it and we got a nice move up and we all made a little bit of money if you didn't get jumped um, really smooth miss really smooth this is a tough trader too you can see like all this whippiness on the daily uh, but it worked out well and then Tesla good old Tesla was the break of the 20 level 
um, based on this candle here. And you can see we got in here on this candle and we got like a two point move. Um, Tesla was a tough trader today. There was a lot of, you can see all these wicks, um, just not really easy to trade today. So that pretty much covers it up. I ended up today with $192. Um, which is pretty solid. I had a small loss yesterday, so that made up for that. And then some, I think, at my all-time high, so to speak, at Trade Station. But I got to tell you, it crashed again today. And I opened a new account at E-Trade, back at E-Trade. Well, actually, I haven't mentioned E-Trade yet. I do have an account in E-Trade uh, with an IRA account, but I'm going to open a brokerage account. I think I'm going to move there with my um, regular cash account, keep my Trade Station Roth account and then close get that working over there then close out my Roth account here and bring it back and just have everything at E-Trade I don't even know I heard people are having problems with E-Trade today uh, so it's just one of those things where it's a little frustrating because if I just a good platform then I'm good but the guy I'm following and working with he uses E-Trade so if I'm on the same platform as him we can I can really dig in and ask him more questions and actually I can trade at seven o'clock in the morning if I wanted to um, that's something to look forward to so that pretty much covers it this is Rich with some price action it's 440 and we'll see you tomorrow have a good one